What's up guys, Thomas is here bringing you some Team Deathmatch on Grid. Now this is a very, very, I believe this game was recorded back a very long time ago, but let's just check. From bef from about the first few weeks of the game, first came out, so if I don't know what's going on here, I'm kind of watching on view also. We'll see what's going on, but what I do, I do remember some good parts of this game. Um... I believe this was the game I was trying out. Um, a little theory I had about you know, about playing with a shotgun, and what I mean by this is by using the shotgun. By let let me just start this over. You take the shotgun, and basically what you do is that once you start to kill people, you, preferably an assault rifle, you pick up that, and then you pick up people from a distance. And then when they get try to get up in your face, you bring out the shotty for you know some buckshot action. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's a very good thing, and I'm pretty sure I've seen X Jaws even um, mention this in one of his videos. But this really does work well. I sort of think of it as playing Black Ops, sort of like Modern Warfare 2, where you have like you know the suck on the suck on both is, you know all that. But. I mean, like this way, a 74U, it isn't bad for this um, strategy, but an assault rifle, you know, say a commando, your FAMAS, if you really want to be that way, uh, would be better suited, in my opinion, because they're, of course, better for long range, and you already have the close range weapon with the shotgun. But, anyway, I recently got a lot of new subscribers thanks to a certain that guy who camps, and I want to thank Jeff, I know you're not watching this, but... As far as the subscribers that Jeff brought over here, um, I want to thank Jeff because I did not quite frankly think that he was going to like the video. Uh, I just wanted to get his opinion on it just because I had a lot of fun playing with him, playing with him. Uh, with that open lobby, it was a lot of fun. I miss playing Call of Duty 4 and I've been playing it a lot recently. That's some World at War and even some Modern Warfare 2 because, quite frankly, I'm an idiot and I... And I pretty much for the times I played it, I got noob tubed, quick scoped, I commandoed all the time. But it was it, it is a fast paced game, and that's what I like about uh, Modern Warfare 2. Oh, before I forget, my kill streaks this game were spy plane, the SR, and the uh, the Hind, the gunship. I'm pretty sure my perks this game were lightweight, either hacker or marathon, and I'm pretty sure steady aim, but. I don't know. Staying out, uh, it's a good shotgun. Personally, um, my favorite is the Spaz, which is my favorite shotgun in real life, in game, and it's my favorite weapon in Black Ops. Now, like a now for the people that did bring come to my channel through Jeff's like in my video, uh, thanks for also subscribing. I'm um, hoping I entertain you all, but what I like to do. Hold up, let me fast forward through this. Um, what I like to do on my channel is a lot, most of the time I like to give out some tips and tricks, if possible. But also a lot, one thing I also like to do is learning the history of weapons. Sort of like what um, Wings of Redemption FPS Russia does, but not as epic. <laughs> but, like, I did a video um, a couple months back, it was in Dazzle quality, so I, when I was a rebel back then, you know, of my HD PVR. Uh, so if you all want to watch that, I do give a good history of the Spaz 12. Um, and I'm pretty sure the stakeout is the, it's some type of 37 shotgun. I think it's like the Icarus or something. If y'all would correct me on that, I, I would appreciate it. I do love learning about weapons and stakeout is a, a pretty fun weapon to use. And grid is, um, I like the map. Um, I really do think there are lots better maps in Black Ops and even... Call of Duty in general, but for Black Ops, this is one of the better maps, and quite frankly, Black Ops, um, it's got better maps than Modern Warfare 2 in my opinion, but it's, with the slow paceness, it just, they're just not as fun to play. It's just my opinion, but feel free to disagree. Um, let's see how much time do I got left, oh, I still got a minute, but um, you see, this is the way I like to play grid. It's pretty much 
control pretty much patrol one of these buildings i've been patrolling this side all game going from either side of the spawn and with i hate to use this but with this modern warfare 2 strategy with the um, primary and a shotgun secondary it's pretty much easy mode because you can just you know pick people off of long distance with the assault rifle and then when they finally break through either when you had to reload or whatnot um it's just really easy now I I would have loved to break 50 kills a, not 50 I would <laughs> um, 40 kills this game but I fall just a tad 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 bit short and it really doesn't get me mad and I don't know what these people were doing but apparently they don't understand this that guy just could not see me he scratched around this guy does not understand radar but um that was um that's pretty much the game. I get two more kills. I get this one up here and one other one. But hope y'all enjoyed the video. And please tell me, would you like to see some... What game What game would you like to see next? Cody 4, Mono for 2, World of War or Black Ops. What game would you like to see next? I can get pretty much... Because I have a good stockpile of games from pretty much all of them. But hope y'all enjoyed the video. And I hope y'all enjoyed this um, little five-man ace I got on Cody 4 Search and Destroy. I anyway, hope y'all enjoyed it. And as always, have a nice day. Ready for the next round.